Yeah. Hi. Hi. This is us. How this are is, you? This is us in the morning. How are you feeling? See, Matt looks young and fresh faced. It's just not so much. It's just because I have been up since two in the morning and I ran a triathlon this morning. As you do. I'm a morning guy. As he's want to do. I am want to do. Yeah. So, um, where, where are we now? We're, we're, we're at Salt, Salt Lake, Lake City, City Airport, which I gotta say, everybody I've dealt with this morning at this yeah. airport, it's been so friendly. Really? Yeah, like the guy over here at Sparrow at the food court. Yeah, he was nice. He was like, hey, how are you? Nice to you. And he was like that with everybody. He was nice. He, he sold me a bottle of water and was very nice when he did that. Yeah, it was nice. Even, yeah. the, sec- even the security guy was cool. As opposed to the Detroit airport Detroit, a few mornings ago. not so much. Let's put it this way. The Detroit airport, I've decided, is where all the good airports go to die. Right? On the surface of it, here's the thing. On the surface of it, when you look at it, aesthetically, it's, it's new. It's yeah, nice. It's very deceiving. It's deceiving. Because if our national safety and security is dependent upon Detroit airport... Wow. This, the, just kill yourself. Yeah. The, <laughs> the security situation was grim. It was just. The, it was. It was actually it was astonishing so that we made it through it all. Incompetent. Yeah. Well, we made it through. We made it through. Um, we had an incredible night in Newport, Kentucky. Yeah, we did. With you guys that were there. Um, except for the little table of drunken. Yeah. Women that just those, totally didn't get it. Those were my friends, actually. Oh. Yeah. That was my family. I my family. My family came to a gig. Um, no, that that was a fun. That was a fun show. He's yeah. got a beverage. He's oh, happy. I'm happy. And, uh, so that was great. That was fun. And then there's some. Um, and then we went to Toledo and did a show with some symphony, which was <laughs> some so, symphony. so <laughs> boring, and uneventful, and <laughs> sort of like uh, another Saturday night. <laughs> Whatever, playing with a symphony. No, it was no, really that, special. That was incredible. I have and that was in the band. It was I awesome. was the lead guitar player. Yes, he it was, was. It was quite fabulous, and I was noting with Richard or to Richard after the show that I played way more guitar solos during your show than I ever do at a Vertical it's Horizon true. concert. It's true. I've got to rethink that whole thing. It's weird, right? It is. See, you're very guitar friendly. I am a big fan. I know. Mm-hmm. Turns out. Um, then we made the trek, and I do mean trek, to Park City, Utah for the Sundance Film Festival where we performed. I performed a couple of solo acoustic shows, Matt played a couple of acoustic solo shows, and then yesterday they were smart enough to bring us together to do our thing called Duo. Yeah. I have to say, um, you know, it's we played for what we call industry crowds, and industry crowds, meaning made up of people from the music industry, tend to be the worst audiences ever. Not the best audiences. Not the best audiences. These people were pretty sensational. They were amazing. Really great audiences. Yeah. They were lovely. Yeah. They were a pleasure. It was fun. It was so really we're fun. very grateful to everyone who was at our any of our shows that was nice. And I had a couple of I had a brush with greatness. You did? Yeah, in, in my hotel. Um, the first night when I was going up, uh, Adrian Brody got on the elevator. And um, <clears throat> what'd you say? I you know, I don't do that because I learned my lesson with Kevin Bacon. If you all remember that. Um, but I just, oh, yeah. he looked at me on the elevator and smiled and I went, dude, you're a total badass. Yeah. And he went, and he laughed and he went, thanks, man. And that was it. Cool. Did you ask him to play piano for you like you did in The Pianist? In The what? The Pianist. The pe- Careful the, with that. The Pianist. That's the title you don't mess around with. Yeah. If you're, if you are like, in, it's early in the morning and you have to say a word like Pianist. <laughs> You have to be very deliberate. Here's the thing. I've, I've seen interviews with Adrian Brody, so I know that he is a full-on hip-hop dude. Yes. Like, he's obsessed with hip-hop, so I knew that not only would he not know who I was, but if he did, he would have been like, oh, God. So, I wanted it to be, I made it sure yeah. it was brief. And then you get the hell out of Dodge. I just slipped under the radar and yeah. I got out of there. Um, so that's it. So now we're headed home. Um, to our respective homes. To our respective homes. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. What else? Anything else? Uh, nothing really. We're going to meet up again. I mean, I'm sure we'll see each other before then, but we're going to yeah. play more shows coming up. And we're recording new stuff April. together. Yeah. And live record. Yeah. Oh, that's right. We're, we're almost done mixing the, the live record from St. Charles, Illinois, wow. which sounds pretty great. Sounds amazing. So you'll be hearing that soon. So thanks to everybody who was at the St. Charles gig for making that so special. 
And, uh, and here we are. Thanks to my mom. Sen and I'd like to thank Jesus. And Sending love yeah. from the... Uh, we want to thank Jesus from, from the Salt Lake City yeah. Airport Food Court. Thank you, Jesus. Lots of love. Okay. Okay. Goodbye.